what is the process of building your own team? You know, you, you start from scratch. You've done this in business. You've done this in life. How do you actually get the team together and get your drivers and get your crew? What's that like? Well, the first thing was one to, to get a driver. So I had a driver named Blake Cook. And so he was uh, we sponsored his team and actually Blake and we had talked about, let's start a race. Let me start a race team. But you have to find somebody to run it. I mean, I was I'm, I live in Ohio. I'm up in the Cleveland, Ohio area. And so everything in NASCAR is down in North Carolina. And so, first of all, I had to find somebody to run it. So Blake Cook hooked me up with a guy named Chris Rice, who had been his crew chief in the past. He was running a uh, NASCAR truck team uh, at the time. And so he, they, with the three of us, went out to dinner and just went through all the economics, like a budget of what it would look like if we actually started our own race team. And uh, he was completely honest about it and everything else. And so since it was so much money and that like, I decided to pass. I was like, all right, that was good. That, that was cool, but like, I can't do that. I mean, that's, but six months later, looking at options as far as like sponsorship with other teams or, you know, what, what would that look like? We decided literally to start our own team. So to go through what you have to do, you have to, one, if you don't have any equipment, if you don't have any cars, if you don't have any people, you're gonna have to align what they call an alliance with somebody. Uh, in one of the teams. So we met with uh, Richard Childress and uh, in Chevrolet, you know, you could either run Chevrolet or Toyota or Ford. And so we met with all the manufacturers and a bunch of different people and then decided to go with Chevrolet. And we had an alliance deal with, with Richard Childress and run their engines and run their, uh, run their cars, buy their cars. And uh, it's just been awesome. So that was what, seven, seven years ago. And uh, they've been crazy, tremendous partners, and Chevrolet's been amazing, and uh, and they've helped us win. I mean, we've got 14 Xfinity wins, and we we've got our first Cup win last year at Indianapolis, and so it's it's just uh, it's been great. But it is not a normal thing in NASCAR like to do that. I was gonna say you've had a lot of success really yeah. soon, and I know you know you have high ambitions. And there's a lot more to do but what is it like getting into this and having such an unprecedented out the gate yeah. getting wins having success i mean you want to win so what's that how does that feel it's just been uh it, it's been tremendous and when we talk to when you talk to other teams or even um you know even in the history of nascar mm -hmm. you know even other team owners are like man you guys have you you've unbelievable success like this early we were the fastest team in NASCAR history to win in the last 50 years. We won our seventh start uh, in NASCAR at Indianapolis in, in, in the Cup Series. And I mean, for us, it's just what we do. We're just, all, all we're, we're trying our hardest, but like apparently our team is really good, really good at it. So um, I think in business and in sports and everything else, it's mostly about activity. And you don't necessarily think about the results um, you know, until you get really good. But. So speaking of that, uh, not only are you good, but you're growing. So yeah. what's it like to go from a one car team to a three car team? Well, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot, um, but it's just scaling. It's like, the, you know, you hear the term in business about scaling the business. You know, we, we took Lee Filter from one office to now 130 offices. You do the same thing, you know, you have one office and then you, you open one in another city, so you're in the second office and then a third, and you do things the same way. And now we have 130, yeah. which is a lot. And so, so you know about scaling, this is, it, you've been here. So to have five teams or whatever is like, it's, it's, uh, it is a lot though. I mean, last year we ran a, we ran three full-time Xfinity teams and, uh, and then a part-time cup team. And then we bought two charters in the Cup Series, and so now we literally have uh, three full-time Xfinity teams and two full-time Cup teams in different series. So it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for our team and staff, but um, but they're doing an amazing job, and we couldn't be more excited about it. Tell me about your drivers, your crew. Like, what is it about this team that makes them so special, and the talent that you're working with? You know, even in sports uh, or in business. It's usually the team with the best players usually wins. I mean, it's it's about players. And so if you can get great drivers, if you can get great crew chiefs, if you can get great, you know, um, 
public relations people. And I mean, it's, it's all a team and how, how you do it. But we, we almost demand that everybody has fun. You have to have uh, in, in business, you have to have a, you have to have good chemistry. You have to have fun. This is a professional sport. I mean, at the end of the day, we're racing race cars. Yeah. I mean, it's not, this isn't like, you know, say life or death on in the business ar arena. It's like, it's fun. So yeah, it has to be fun. The fact that you're here. And it is, it's beyond amazingly fun. Like we're at the Daytona 500, yeah. one of the biggest sporting events in the world. And, uh, and so it's gotta be fun.